Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to make a professional looking website in minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a folder and call it website or call it the site name. Um, and inside you'll see I've got a folder called IMG, which is short for image. And inside that I have my image, my banner image. And obviously you can put as many images in here as you want. And you'll see this is a PNG file and the dimensions are 875 pixels by 75. Um, so create these uh, folders. Um, there's no need to create an IMG or image folder if you do not have any images though. Once you've done that, go into Notepad and type this standard HTML tag. So HTML, head, title, the title tag, um, my professional website, and obviously close the title tag. Close the head tag and, and uh, open the body tag and have a background colour if you want. BG colour equals uh, hash 999999 which is a light grey colour. Um, and then we'll have a centre tag and we're going to open a table. We're going to have the table width that is the same as the banner, so 875. Um, and we're going to have the alignment in the centre. And we're going to have cell padding equals zero and cell spacing equaling zero. Um, and once you're happy with this, close that tag and open the TR and the TD tags. And we're going to add the image. So img src equals image img folder forward slash banner dot png. Uh, png, sorry. Um, and close the TD and close the TR tag and then close the table tag. Um, open another table, table width uh, the same as before, so 875, um, sorry about that, a, uh, table width equals 875, um, so virtually, in fact, exactly the same code as before, so you can copy and paste it, I'm going to retype it though, cell padding equals 0, cell spacing equals 0, um, and then the TR and the TD tags. Um, and inside that, we're going to have the menu bar. So home, about, uh, services. And as you'll see, I'm putting lines in between these. These are just to break them up. This isn't coding. This is just a form of text. So videos, downloads, and contact. Now we're going to add links to all of these. ahref equals index.html. Close the uh, link tag. I'm going to add one to the about. Um, about.html. Now, obviously, we haven't created the about.html page, but if you wanted to create it, um, you just create an HTML page and call it about. Um, but if you clicked on it at the moment, it wouldn't link to anything. It would say, um, this page does not exist, or something similar to that. And that's the same with all these other pages. So services.html, ahref equals videos.html. Obviously, obviously, we don't have um, a videos.html um, document. Um, but if you wanted to create one, um, it'd be very simple. It would just be the same as creating an index.html file. So I'm going to add, uh, continue adding links to all of these. So downloads.html. Close the downloads. Um, and <coughs> last but not least, the contact uh, link. Um, so ahref equals contact.html. Um, and close that one. Um, and once you're happy with all these settings, um, well then, um, and once you're happy with all the links, then what we want to do is we want to go to the uh, we want to go and we want to close the TD tag. So we have to go to the end of the menu bar. Sorry about this. End of the menu bar and press Enter. Um, close the TD tag and close the TR tag. Ooh. Uh, close the table tag. Um, and now we've finished all of the main coding. Um, we can add a we can add a font. We can formatting it. Uh, format the menu bar. So the font face equals Arial, the size equals 4, and the color equals white. So uh, FFF, FFF, we need to add a hash uh, to the front of the color code. Um, so that'll be a white one. And we want to close the font tag. 
Um, so now everything in between that, so the menu bar will be size 4, aerial and white. Once you're happy with that, press file, save as, and we're going to save it in the website folder as index.html. Press save, uh, minimize the code or close it, and go into the website folder. Um, and as you see, we've now got the index page, so we can open it up in our browser, in our default internet browser. And as you see, it's starting to look like a website. We've got the banner at the top, and we've got this menu bar down here. Now, the menu bar is not in the center. It's in the center of um, the, the tables in the center, but the contents inside it is not. And the way to change this is um, you edit the TD tag, so TD space align equals center. So what that means is the table is in the center and the contents inside the table is also now in the center. So press Control S or File Save, refresh it, and you'll see the menu bar is now in the center. Now what we want to do to add a bit more formatting to it is we want to add a line break between the menu bar and the banner, just to give it a bit more spacing, a bit more, um, make it flow a bit more. So we add a BR tag in between the two tables, um, press Save, um, or Control S and refresh it. So F5 or refresh. And as you see, as you'll see, we have now got a line break. We've got a space in between them. So that just makes it look a tiny bit more um, professional, a bit more um, free and um, professional. Yup. Um, I can't really think of another word for that. Um, now we're going to add another table now. Table width equals 875, so again, it's exactly the same as before, so you can copy and paste it. Um, cell padding equals zero, cell spacing equals zero, um, and TR and TD. Um, TD align equals center again, so the contents inside the table will be in the center. Now we're going to add some standard text, so welcome to my website. Um, and we're going to put h1 above it as a tag. Now h1 we haven't come across before. h1 stands for header 1, so that makes it large. And we're going to close the h1 tag. Once we're happy with that, press Control s or File, Save, and Refresh. And as we'll see, it has automatically become wide text. We want to add a line break between the menu bars and the h1 tag. Um, so once you're happy with that, press Control s or File, Save. Go back to the HTML document and press refresh or F5. And as you'll see, there's now a line break in between the two. Um, we're going to change the H1 to um, bold and underlined. <coughs> so B, the B tag, and the U tag. Um, we're going to close the B and the U tag, the bold and the underlined tag, um, just to close off um, what is bold and what is underlined. Press File, Save, or Control S again. Press Refresh, and as you'll see, we have now got underlined text. We're going to go back to our coding. We are going to now add um, two line breaks in between the two, and we are going to add an H4. Now, H4 just means it's smaller than H1, smaller than H, uh, H1, so welcome to my website. I designed it in HTML using notepad um, um, uh, on on here you can find all my videos uh, details about me and even some exclusive downloads um, now obviously you can put whatever you want in here um, I'm just putting random stuff just for uh, to fill the space. Press refresh or F5 and as you see it's now come up. Welcome to my website. Um, and now you'll see it's starting to look like a professional website. Now you can continue, continue doing this um, to make it look even more professional. Thanks for watching guys, more videos coming up soon.